Hi everyone, in this video you will learn more about container runtime. You will go over why you should be using a container runtime, what is a runtime, and how to go about choosing or evaluating a container runtime. Let's get started. Have you ever wanted to create application containers from scratch? The good news is that it's actually possible. The bad news, it is a very daunting system administration task and does not scale well. A container runtime can be called by a user through a command line interface, for instance, the Docker run, or programmatically through another application, for example, the kubelet in Kubernetes. In terms of what? A container runtime is a background process that allows us to interact with the operating system to execute application containers without having to worry much about what happens under the hood related to namespaces, C groups, and the like. If you happen to be using Kubernetes, the software that manages containers at scale, you might be familiar with the concept of Container Runtime Interface, CRI. CRI is a plugin interface that abstracts away the kubelet from the container runtime. As long as the container runtime implements certain functions, it should be CRI compliant. As you might have heard, as of Kubernetes version 124 that is coming around the corner, Docker runtime is deprecated and removed. That means you can still use Docker to build images and share them on registries. However, you won't be able to use the runtime component. More on that in the link below. The reason is that the kubelet, in case of the Docker runtime, uses a middleman, also known as the Docker shim, to communicate with the Docker runtime, and that piece is not CRI compliant. Regarding the how, I will talk about two things. First, the alternative runtimes that are CRI compliant to use. Second, the CLI tools to interact with the runtime. Container D is an industry standard runtime that is simple and can manage the entire life cycle of running containers. It's the default runtime in Kubernetes version 124, and it uses the run C native runtime under the hood. Creo is a lightweight runtime from Red Hat designed specifically for Kubernetes. Its first version used Run C and recently switched it to C Run, a low level native runtime written in the C language that is faster and requires fewer resources. If you are a Docker fan and don't want to let go, you want to look into CRI Docker D that was jointly released by Mirantis and Docker as a replacement for the Docker shim. More in the link below. For those folks with very strict container security runtimes, you might want to consider using Kata containers. This can provide a stronger workload isolation by putting each container in a lightweight virtual machine and it integrates nicely with container D. In terms of tools, both CRI CTL and Podman can provide a Docker-like CLI experience interacting with containers. Podman has more features, including the ability to stop and start containers, as well as the management and creation of images. You want to factor in things like complexity, security, usability, and cost before adopting any of those tools.